What's up guys? In just five minutes and with just three tools and for just $250, we're gonna show you how to have crankcase ventilation for your EcoBoost Mustang. What's up guys? We are back in the Park Performance Lab today and today we are bringing you installation instructions for a really awesome product from UPR Products. This is the 2.3 EcoBoost Mustang one-way breather tank. Um, we've worked with UPR in the past to bring awesome products to market. This is something that we've been working with them on getting um, installation video and installation instructions done so we can bring it to you guys because we know the necessity for this once you start overpowering the capabilities of the UPR dual valve catch can. Uh, so today we're going to be installing this on Bobby's car. Bobby's car is a full bolt-on NX2 E30 setup. It's uh, already equipped with the UPR dual valve catch can, which in this instance we are not even going to have to mess with because actually what we're doing here is we're going to get the crankcase pressure relief from your oil fill cap. Um, so the UPR kit is going to come with the canister with the vent to atmosphere filter on the top. It does have the option to come in either chrome or black. Um, this is going to be the mounting apparatus here. This is going to mount here to the driver's side strut tower. Uh, there's a single uh, bracket there that you're going to have one little bolt that's going to install there. UPR does provide the Allen key for that. And then of course you've got your safety here. And then you've got a couple of parts that they send you that's going to be the adapter for the oil fill cap, the 90 degree coming out of that, as well as the line going to the catch can, and then of course the hardware. And we're going to go ahead and get that going for you right now. You just really need three tools. Uh, UPR does provide you with the Allen key in the kit. But if you want something a little bit larger, you just need to use a 530 seconds um, a hex key, Allen key, whatever you want to call it. In this instance, I have them set up as a T handle, so that's really easy. Um, you're going to need an 11 millimeter. That's going to be what you're going to use to secure the nut. And then you're going to need a crescent wrench. And all you're going to be using for that is to tighten your 90 into the adapter. And that's literally all you need for tools. Um, the kit's going to come with the line with one end already prefixed. The other end, they send you the ferrule and the fitting itself. So all you're gonna do to get this set up is you're gonna loosely install the ferrule and then you're gonna slide your fitting in and it will button down all the way to the ferrule. So that's literally the line and it will have the ability to oscillate for you for installation uh, based on your orientation. No problem there. The next piece is just the adapter and the 90. This is gonna come uh, as two separate pieces, but I've already pre started this it's gonna have um, some thread sealant on it so you don't have to put anything on there it's ready to go ahead and fasten it right away so in this instance Bobby's already got his UPR breather we're gonna go ahead and remove that and get started putting this on okay so we're just gonna start by removing the oil fill cap in this instance Bobby has the UPR breather cap uh, which is available on our website you're gonna take and put the adapter in, right? And all I did is I went ahead and screwed it down and then I started to fasten this. And then obviously you're gonna just wanna give it one little tug with a crescent wrench. And you're gonna be careful because this is plastic. So you're not trying to ooga do this. You're literally just trying to give it a little, oh, and that's it. So I've already ran that down by hand and I just gave it a little oomph, right? Maybe that was a, maybe a 16th of a turn. But that's all you're looking for because this is plastic. So if you're trying to do this while it's on here and you're trying to ooga do it, the chances of you breaking or cracking this oil fill neck is pretty great. So let's avoid that. Let's don't go ooga do on it. And uh, it is good and tight there. And that's literally all we need to do for here. And now we're gonna mount the can. Okay, so for the installation of the canister, I'm looking to create uh, as close to a 90 degree bend here. This isn't final positioning. I'm just doing this so that I have an idea of where it's gonna land. You're gonna mount that to the strut tower here, the single hole. And then this way you have now the flexibility to kind of maneuver it because you're looking to create it to where it's not going to interfere with either the intake manifold or with the, this is the charcoal canister stuff. Um, so if you have like a port injection kit or something like that, that's gonna stick this intake manifold out another two inches or so. So you're gonna to have to worry and be cognizant of that. So what you're doing is you're just leaving that there so that you have the free motion here to kind of place it, right? Um, and of course, if you have a different air intake system, this may become uh, impeding upon that. So you're just literally looking to create it wherever it fits, uh, you know, free of any interference, right? So literally you're just gonna go ahead and they provide the hardware with washers and such and you're just gonna install them. And even if you're not getting it because you need it, you can get it because it looks great. <laughs> okay, so at this point, uh, we've got it almost all the way tightened down. 
What I'm gonna do here is, like I said, I'm just gonna make sure she's free of any interference before I fully lock this in place. And that should do it there. And then if you have to have any sort of flexibility in that, you should be able to loosen this here and just double check and then tighten this again. Now this is just a thumb tighten. You don't need to stress it, but we'll give it a little oomph, okay? So uh, our adapter, our 90 and our canister are in. Now we just have to install our line. Bada boom, bada bing. Okay, all right, so like I said, three tools, five minutes, 250 bucks. Now we have crankcase ventilation. Uh, install is very easy. I hope you guys help find this video helpful. Of course, if we can help you with any of your EcoBoost products, you'll find them at www.pp-fl.com. Uh, please sign up for your PP memberships if you have not yet. Um, and of course, the merchandise currently is 25% off. Also, for you budget-minded folks, there is still a cheaper solution, which is also available at the website, which is the EcoBoost crankcase breather cap. So, uh, either the all the way odd, uh, all the way options, or on the oddball chance that you want to only spend about 65 bucks, this is available as well. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you soon.